whether we saw and were aware of the signs that indicated that Xbox was slowly shifting their Xbox Live Gold services to evolve into the Game Pass service or not, one thing is for certain. It's happening. <laughs> the change is inevitable, and all that remains to us is choosing how we are going to respond to it. If we want to continue participating in the multiplayer experiences that Microsoft offers, we will all have to accept these new terms of service. For some of us, we may consider this an improvement on what we are previously receiving. For day one Xbox Live Gold members like me, this may represent a shift that we wouldn't have chosen if we were given a say in the matter. But my preference doesn't have any impact on the reality that one is going away. It's something new. It's here to stay. I just have to choose the attitude that I possess as I move into this new normal. I can still appreciate what once existed. I still possess a massive archive of games with gold in my library that I acquired over the years. They'll remain mine as long as I keep my service up to date. And who knows, maybe this new Game Pass future will provide me with even more games to play and choose from than I would have ever received from the meager offerings of these free monthly games I've been accustomed to. But the future is here. So for me and my house, it looks like we'll be subscribing to the Microsoft Game Pass. And I might as well do it with a smile on my face. In our real world lives, we will all end up serving the Lord's will. We can do it with joy in our hearts, or we can do it kicking and screaming all the way to the finish line. But we will all fulfill his purpose, and our story will either serve as an inspiration to others or a cautionary tale. The choice of how we react to it, that's the part that's up to us. Ultimately, it's the only choice that truly is.